Republicans were able to flip four seats in 2022, which helped the party achieve a slight majority in the U.S. House of Representatives. One seat has since switched back to being blue after Tom Suozzi won a special election for George Santos' seat. Democrats are hoping to keep the momentum going to November, while Republicans are trying to make sure their majority doesn't slip away. The path to control of the House may well run from Nassau County up the Hudson Valley and out to Syracuse. Uh, we can't be lackadaisical about this because we know the other team is working overtime. On Thursday, Speaker Mike Johnson was with New York Congressman Mark Molinaro, who represents New York 19, a swing district, and Brandon Williams, who represents New York 22, a district that could see the most change if the IRC's congressional map gets approved by the state legislature. I've been in six cities in the last 36 hours. I've been in 18 states, I think, in the last um, few weeks. We're all over the country, but what means the most to us is when people come out to these battle stations and do this work to help us bank the vote, get early voting done. The state legislature has yet to either approve or reject a congressional map. There could be changes, uh, and there are modest changes that are uh, included in the maps drawn by the redistricting commission. But what the legislature, who's ultimately responsible, and the governor, what they choose to do, I think, is the big unknown. That's the wild card in what the boundaries will look like and probably the wild card in what happens in terms of the House in November 24. If the legislature decides to redo the maps, it could make a big difference. I'm told state lawmakers are still discussing the map. They'll be back in Albany for session on Monday and could vote on it sometime next week. Reporting in Albany, I'm Jamie DeLine.